Hey there, back with another installation video, this time for Lineage OS 18.1, and in this case it's going to be for the OnePlus One and for the Pixel 2 XL. There will be some chapter bookmarks down in the description below, but before I get into that, a couple of new things. One, this is mostly the same as it was for my Lineage OS 17.1 video that I did with the OnePlus One. I'll go ahead and start off with that one to go over the few differences, but also it is much more different for the Pixel 2 XL. But to start off, there's a couple things that you need. First up, you're gonna to need to make sure you've got a current version of ADB and Fastboot installed. In addition to that, you need to make sure you have the right files. Now I keep all of mine in a lovely folder on my C drive just marked Android. This is where I keep all of my ROM flashes and everything like that, but I'll just go into the OnePlus One. There you can see I have the zip file the recovery image and the third thing you need it's technically optional but if you want access to any of the play store stuff you do need this so this is the first big difference between the 17.1 install and the 18.1 is that instead of using opengapps apps with the arm pico version you're going to need mind the gaps 11 for arm for the 2xl you're going to need the ARM64 version of Mind the Gaps 11. Now this is just because OpenG Apps hasn't made an Android 11 build yet, but Mind the Gaps has. The last thing that you need to do before you do any of that though, is make sure that we've got USB debugging enabled. So we go down to the build number, tap until it says that we're a developer. Anyway, so now we're a developer. So we have to go back. Advanced, developer options, do. USB debugging, enable it. Yes, allow. Now, before you do this to your phone, one last thing. Because part of the steps of this will actually erase all the data on your phone, back it up. Because, yes, that's true. I've, I've tried to do this without wiping and it will fail every time. So back up your phone before you Try to flash a new ROM onto there. So we're going to go ahead and plug in our device. Yep, USB debugging connected, and now we need the command prompt window. All right, doing the ADB reboot bootloader just reboots the phone, goes straight into the bootloader. It's really hard to see, but it's got fast boot mode pulled up there. It's super faint. And it's not just on camera, it's hard to see in real life too. But now that we've got that, we're just going to go ahead and double check. Yep, it's coming in as one of the fast boot devices. Now that we know that it's coming in. Fast boot OEM unlock. It's unlocked. All right. So now we need to go ahead and get the recovery image onto there. So command for that is fastboot slash recovery. And then we need the file name with extension and flash recovery is the image file as opposed to the zip file. And part of the name is its actual directory location. So we're gonna go into properties that way we can see the full directory location. Copy, paste, throw another slash onto there. Copy, paste, dot, img. All right, and just like that, flash recovery is installed onto there. Now that we've got that done, we need to reboot into recovery and for that, it's going to be holding the volume down button plus the power button from off. So we're going to go ahead and hold the power button down. And then once it stops saying fast boot mode, we're going to hold down the down button. Hold down the down button after the power button is no longer held down. And just like that. Now we're in recovery mode. Now, just like I mentioned before, 
you do have to do a factory reset on this. I've tried doing it without doing a factory reset. It doesn't work, it has to happen. So we're gonna go ahead and hit factory reset, format data, right down there on the bottom it says wiping data, formatting data. All right, it did take several minutes, but we did manage to get the factory reset done. If it feels like it's hanging up on you, just give it a few more minutes. It just seems to take a lot of time. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do apply update, apply from ADB. Command prompt for this is ADB side load and then the file name and just like before the file name does include the directory location so we're going to pull up properties copy location throw another slash in there copy the file name dot zip and Usually it'll hang on either 43, 47%. Yeah, 47% is what this will hang on. So don't be alarmed. It'll hang on 47. What you're looking for is it to say command success. Yeah, so on the phone it says patching system image unconditionally. All right, now that we've got that, I want to have the Google Play Store though. So I'm going to go ahead. No, oh, no, come on. Apply update, apply from ADB. Since I would like the Play Store, let's go ahead and get Mind the Gaps on there, or Mind the G Apps, whichever one you prefer to call it. ADB, side load. Dot, zip. Now, before I hit enter, the thing about this one is since it's not actually signed by Lineage, it is going to have like a an authentication error just push right through that it, it'll say signature verification failed but it's supposed to and yet again it'll hang on 47 percent totally normal totally expected now we're going to go ahead and hit yes to install anyway because like i said it is expected that the signature verification will fail all right and back out Reboot system now. And just like that, Lineage OS is loading up. Now, like I did mention before, because we did have to do a total wipe, you're just gonna install from backup on whatever Google account you have your backup saved to. And just like that, brand new phone. I'll take care of that later. But for now, there's a couple differences that I need to show you on the Pixel 2 XL. We're going to go in. Oh. Oh, looks like I've already got developer options and enabled. All right. Do, 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 do. USB debugging on. Allow. Things are considerably different with the Pixel 2 XL because of the commands that you use. You use different commands in order to sideload. Now, that's also the reason why I made sure to remind you at the beginning that you need a current copy of ADB because the commands that you need to flash this actually aren't in older versions. It was a very annoying bit of troubleshooting to figure out that the reason why I couldn't sideload the Pixel 2 XL was because I didn't have a version of ADB that had access to the commands I needed. All right, and just like before, we've got our image, we've got our zip, we've got our mind the gaps, ARM64. Same as before though, we're gonna go ahead and do ADB reboot boot loader and it'll go ahead and reboot into its bootloader. Now here you can see, down here it says device state unlocked, and it says that in red. If you're doing this for the first time, that will be green, it'll say locked. 
and this is what we actually need to take care of. Uh, real quick, fast boot devices, just to make sure that the computer still sees the phone. Type in fast boot flashing unlock. For me, it says device already unlocked. I just needed to make sure that you see that this is what you need to type in. If you have an older version of ADB and fast boot, then whenever you attempt to do fast boot flashing unlock, flashing unlock isn't a valid command. It'll just pull up the list of commands instead of trying that. All right, so once we have it unlocked, if it doesn't automatically reboot for you, you need to go ahead and start it. Now, the reason you need to go ahead and restart it is because after you do that, normally you'll have to re-enable USB debugging. Let's go into the system, developer options, and make sure that you still have USB debugging enabled. Now that we've got that, ADB reboot, boot, loader, and it'll go ahead and reboot into the bootloader, and you're looking for it to say unlocked. You're looking for it to say unlocked right there. All right, to get the recovery image on there, we're gonna do fast boot flash boot. And then we need our we need our file name, so that'll be its directory location. Throw up a slash, the actual file name with its extension. Now we've got the recovery image on there. Now we're going to go ahead and go into recovery mode. All right. Now, here's the annoying part. We have to do a factory reset. We're going to go ahead and hit factory reset, format data, format data. And down here on the bottom, it's kind of hard to see, but it's formatting the device. And data wipe complete. Go back, apply update, apply from ADB. And now it's ready for us to go ahead and so that'll be ADB side load and then the file name which like I keep saying is the directory location file name with its extension update package sorry I'm down here on the phone it says verifying update package here in command prompt It'll hang on 47%, that's expected. I don't know why it is, but that's totally normal. If it hangs on 47% for you in command prompt, that's totally fine. What you're looking for is it to say command success at the end. As you can see here, it's hung on 47%. On the phone, it says installing update, step one of two. All right, now it's on step two of two, just finished up. We're going to go back to this main screen. And yet again, we're going to hit apply update, apply from ADB. I've tried doing this step without backing out first, and it just doesn't work. But now we need our copy of Mind the Gaps ARM64, just like before. ADB side load. zip and since this isn't actually signed by lineage it's going to say ver signature verification failed just go ahead and hit yes install anyway see right here signature verification failed install anyway yes it's completely expected for that to happen all right now reboot system now it's gonna say that as long as your bootloader is unlocked. And just like with the OnePlus One, you see the Google image, well, not with the OnePlus One, you see startup images, goes into the lineage boot, and it'll go ahead and boot as a fresh device since we did a factory reset. All right, and just like that, 
just like I said, restarts as a fresh new device. I'll go ahead and take care of that later though. For now though, I hope that this has been some help, but for now though, you have a good one.